Hello, I'm Alex T. Smith. I'm the author and illustrator of the Claude books. And this is one of my little dogs called Mr. Bongo. He says hello. And today I'm going to teach you how to draw Claude. So you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil and that's it. So let's go. Right, so we have our piece of paper and we've got our pencil. Let's start to draw Claude. So you want to start not too near the top or too near the bottom of your piece of paper, but somewhere around here. And Claude starts by drawing a hill or a mountain that's fallen onto its side like this. There we go, mine's a bit wobbly. And then we draw a circle at the end of it for his nose. We draw a little tiny circle inside like that. Now we're going to colour the big circle in, like this, but we're going to leave the inside of that little circle uh, white because that is where the light is shining off his nice shiny nose. Now we're going to draw three little dots like this for his whiskers, and then we're going to draw his ear. Now his ear is just a great big raindrop like this. And we're going to colour it in by doing something called SIS, Special Illustrator Scribbling. And that means not going bonkers and outside of the lines, but colouring in in a scribbly sort of way. And the reason for that is because Claude is a dog and that means he is covered in fur and we want his ear to look nice and furry or nice and hairy. So this is what we do. We, we, we colour it in in this scribbly way, like so. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw his collar, which is a little um, sort of rectangle shape. Some of it's hidden behind his ear. And we're going to decorate it with some spots. Claude likes spots like this. And then underneath, we're going to leave a little tiny gap and we're going to draw a circle. That's his name tag there. And we join that up to his collar with two little lines like that. Now we need to draw his body. So we're going to start by doing a little line there and a little line there. And then we're going to leave a tiny gap and we're going to go down and across and almost, but not quite, all the way up. Do you see how I've left two gaps there? And these are for his arms. So we're going to draw one arm behind his back and the other arm waving at us. So we'll start with the one behind his back. And really, it's just a capital C shape like this. Nice curved shape like that. Like that. And we can do a little bit of shading there. I think life's a bit too short to draw pointy elbows. That's why we've gone for a nice shady shape, um, curved shape like that. And then we're going to draw his other arm, which is just a great, big, well, sort of like a spout of a teapot, really, pointing up in the air, nice and easy. Now we're going to draw his hands, and hands are very difficult to draw, usually, because look, look how much they can wiggle about like that. Well, this is my nice, easy way of how to draw hands. The first thing we do is we draw a hook, like Captain Hook would have, and that's Claude's thumb. And then we think of the letter M, and we think of the word M, mm, like M, mm, cookies. And we use the M to draw two fingers that look like an M. And then we draw two, another M next door. So it says M. Mm, and we join up to his hand like that, nice and easy. Now we're going to draw his tummy. So we draw a nice curved shape there and one there for his bum. And then his legs are just a number 11 over this side, like that and a number 11 over this side, and we join them up in the middle like that. His shoes are just two sort of flat sausage shapes like this. One there and one there. We colour them in quickly and we can give them a little bit of a tiny heel by drawing a sort of little square at the bottom like that. And we need to make sure that they're done up, so we draw a love heart on top of each one to show that his bows are done up. And we can to do two little flicky shapes like that for the rest of the laces. Now from his feet, we're going to go all the way up to the top of his head and we're going to draw his beret, his special hat. And that's just another sausage shape, a big floppy sausage like that on top of his head. And we don't want it to fly away, so we hold it in place 
with a little stick. Now we're going to draw his face now and I'm going to give you a top secret illustrator's tip. We want Claude to be looking straight out at us, um, but we don't want him to look like a zombie, which there is a danger of that. If we drew two circles and put the dots right in the middle, he would look like a zombie. We don't want that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to draw two big circles like this, one there, and one there. And in this one, we are going to draw his pupil, the black circle, right in the middle, like that. But in this one, to make him look nice and friendly and not like a zombie, we're going to draw it slightly over to one side. Do you see how I've done that there? makes all the difference, especially when we give him a big smile like that. And we need to give him some eyebrows, but he's so amazed by how brilliant your picture is of him. His eyebrows have jumped right up off the top of his head and are floating in midair. Now we've got a couple more jobs to do. We've got to give him a tail. Now I bet you remember how to do this. If you don't remember anything else that I've told you, you'll remember this because his tail has to look like he's got half a banana stuck to his bum like that. And then we draw a line halfway up the banana and we colour the rest of it in black. And then we do a bit more of our special illustrator scribbling. Now we're not making it look like fur this time. We're using, we're using our special illustrator scribbling to make sure that Claude looks like he's standing on the ground. So we draw a little scribble under his feet so we know here he is. And the very last job we need to do is what all artists do when they've created a masterpiece like this is they sign their names to it. So I'm going to put my name at the bottom and you do yours. And there we go, done. That's how to draw Claude. Now you need to put that in a frame on your wall and um, get everyone to tell you how good it is because it's brilliant.